Hello and welcome back in the second episode of our Disney rankings. We skipped the wartime era or the package era from 1942 to 1949 and go straight to the Disney Silver Age. A little backstory. During and right after the Second World War, Disney was struggling. They could only make propaganda cartoons and package movies, but Walt Disney wanted to pick up where he left with the Golden Age in 1942. So in 1950 he made Cinderella and it was a massive success, paving way to the Silver Era. The Silver Era continued during the 1950s and 1960s until Walt's passing in 1966. The last movie of this era, The Jungle Book, released a year after his death. Rest in peace, Walt Disney. So, let's begin the ranking. At the bottom of the Silver Age we have Alice in Wonderland. While I like and even love most of the Disney classics, I despise this one ever since I was a child. Alice in Wonderland is the one and only one of the movies that came out during Walt's lifetime, which I really don't care for. In Dumbo I thought the animators were on drugs for the pink elephants, but they dialed it up to 11 for this movie. Alice is a forgettable protagonist, but the whole movie is a boring and uninspiring mess to me. She goes from one ridiculous situation to another with completely stupid characters. The Mad Hatter and the March Hare and the Dodo sometimes get a chuckle out of me, but those moments are far and few between. I don't hate everything about this movie, it accomplishes what it tries to, being a wacky adventure with lots of color and quirky characters, but it just isn't the movie for me. To be clear, there's a huge gap between Alice and this movie. Of all the movies of the Silver Age, The Sword in the Stone is the most forgettable of them all. I think I know why. This movie is good but not remarkable. The title is wrong because the titular sword doesn't appear until the ending. We follow King Arthur in his younger years with the wizard Merlin as his teacher. It is enjoyable to see how Merlin transforms himself and Arthur in a fish, a squirrel and a bird. The wizard duel between Merlin and Madame Mim is the absolute highlight of the movie. This movie doesn't do anything particularly wrong for me, it just pales in comparison with the other Silver Age movies. At 6 we have Lady and the Tramp, a mediocre Disney movie. Movies about talking dogs are mostly enjoyable and Lady and the Tramp is no different. Lady and Tramp are both dogs who live on opposite ends of society. When they meet and fall in love, it creates the famous scene where they eat spaghetti while the Italians are singing Bella Notte. The rest of the movie is not that memorable. The movie does not have a clear villain and even the side characters are good but not great. But don't get me wrong, I will always like seeing this movie. From here it gets very difficult for me to rank the Silver Age movies. 100 Dalmatians is a classic movie, a much better movie centered around dogs than Lady and the Tramp. Pongo and Purdy and their children are nice characters, but it's the story that makes this movie. The adventure from going from London to the English countryside to save their children from the evil Cruella de Vil. Speaking about Cruella, she is probably the best female Disney villain of all time. While she doesn't have any magic powers, she dominates every scene she's in. While this movie doesn't have a lot of songs, it is a great movie. Sleeping Beauty is one of the best fairy tale movies ever made and certainly one of the most beautifully animated. Aurora and Philip are a nice couple, 
and the first royal pair in a Disney movie that have genuine chemistry. While it is nothing to write home about compared to the Disney couples in the 90s, it is a giant step up from Cinderella and Snow White. Sleeping Beauty can also boast about one of the best Disney villains, Maleficent. Her transformation in a dragon and fight with the prince is very well done. The fairies who get a lot of screen time are also fine. I know you is a good song and so I really recommend this movie to everyone. Without Cinderella there wouldn't be a Silver Age. This fairy tale movie became a big hit and it is easy to see why. Cinderella is a kind-hearted and beautiful main character and even shines when everyone treats her bad. A lot of this movie we are following her mice, running from the evil cat and those scenes are really entertaining. Lady Tremaine is one of the more realistic Disney villains, cold-hearted and mean. The most famous part of this movie is of course the pumpkin coach and the glass slippers. It is magic and everything you want to see from a Disney movie. Our runner-up Peter Pan is a wonderful movie. The story about Peter, Wendy and her brothers who travel to the magical Neverland where they encounter Captain Hook. This movie is literally a dream come true. Captain Hook is a comical villain and very good at being funny. This movie also has a lot of themes like jealousy. Wendy is jealous, Tinkerbell is jealous. It looks like all women on this island get the hots for Peter Pan. Mr. Smee and the Crocodile are also very amusing. The only thing I could critique is that this movie is dated in its depiction of Native Americans. But I don't want to start the debate. It was the 50s after all. But the best Silver Age movie for me personally is Jungle Book and it's not even close. This was the last movie Walt himself worked on and it shows. We have wonderful characters and memorable and amusing songs. While the story of Mowgli who has to flee from Shere Khan the tiger is very basic, it is the execution what makes this so good. We have characters like Baloo the bear, Bagheera the panther and the orangutan King Louis. And who could forget Carl the Snake or the Vulture based on the Beatles. Even the ending when the beautiful girl lures Mowgli in the village is a satisfying conclusion. Without a doubt the Jungle Book is the best Silver Age movie. And that concludes this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. And I'll see you next time with the Disney Bronze Age or more infamously known as the Disney Dark Age. See you soon. Bye.